how the tables have turned. This one's chemistry geography teacher of 21 years at Seneca Singles High School, Lynnet Rampasad, is now in the care of one of her students. And Joyce Lynn Francois, owner of Age with Joy, counts it a privilege. Whatever she's doing, she's very committed to it. Um, and so she, she was an excellent teacher, you know, and she, she did both chemistry and geography. And now that the time has come for us to take care of her, I am just delighted to do that. Now 78, she recalls the start of her day at Naparima Girls, where she attended up until fifth form. I had to walk to school a mile, and I used to try to do it in 10 minutes. <laughs> I doubt I could do that now. Alpha Dennis grew up in the Belmont area, which she described as a nice community and thoroughly enjoyed her time at St. Margaret's. But she confessed. I used to get a lot of licks. <laughs> I used to fight. <laughs> but according to Alpha, it was a different kind of fight. You know, it's different to when I was going to school. You and someone, you may have a little scribble, and you're fighting, next one saying, heave, 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 and you fight. But after that, everybody back to normal. No aggressiveness in the class. The eldest of his siblings, and even among his peers, Lawrence Gonzalez, 94, also admitted to fighting in school a lot. Who used to win the fight? Yeah. Some, sometimes I won. And you know, we fought about girls. Have you heard about Blue Basin? Blue Basin is in our land up there. So we all learn to swim and dive in the water. And it was a routine in the weekends to leave Digo Martin village and to go up to Blue Basin. That was a routine. There was something much less exciting that was a daily routine for Miss Rampasad. Well, we lived um, in, a, in, in a hilly area and in those days San Fernando was a town without water. So we had to go in the street and pick, um, drink um, by the standpipe to get water and, and unfortunately the water was the water pipe was down a hill, so we had to go down a hill with a bucket, fill it up, and walk up to your home with it. For Daphne Caballo, Trinidad and Tobago was a dream come true. Jamaican by birth, Daphne fell for the known charms of a Trini man all the way back in the UK and has made this her home country ever since the age of 21. Happy go lucky, but nice and um, kind and um, uh, not ser too serious, not too serious sometimes. Everything is a laugh and it's a happy place. And that's what I like most. You know, people are, you know, matter of fact, if I went to work not feeling too bright, they would say, oh gosh, what happened to my nursey? <laughs> then you laugh. Alpha concluded with some words of wisdom for TNT. To the young people, I tell them to be obedient and listen to the elders. To the children in Tobago, I wish you put a hand on the crime situation. And to the elders, I ask them just to don't get fed up. Continue with the children, because there's a lot of gang thing, and this, this could stop with the right I want to say, procedure, it will reach there one day. I'm Gisela Gold, encouraging you to live for local.